Hi everyone, in this video we'll have a look at this ASUS Tinkerboard. Yep, it's a really tiny computer. Alright, I'm Brian from GoFries and let's have a look in greater detail of this ASUS Tinkerboard right after this. Coming in at just RM285, the ASUS Tinkerboard is a single board computer that's catered to the IoT enthusiasts, hobbyists, PC DIY guys and for the people from the enterprise environment. The ASUS Tinkerboard runs on a quad-core ARM-based processor which is the ROG chip RK3288, a 1.8GHz quad-core processor. It has 2GB of LPDDR3 memory and it has gigabit Ethernet connection, Wi-Fi connection and Bluetooth connection. It is also capable of 4K upscale video output. The ASUS Tinkerboard also comes with features like 40 pin GPIO for general purpose connectivity, it has MIPI CSI for camera connection, MIPI DSI for display output, 3.5mm jack for audio connectivity, it also has SPDIF output, and above all, a micro SD card slot for the operating system, and of course, 4 USB 2.0 ports for controlling devices. Alright guys, so what you see here is the ASUS Tinkerboard with HDMI connection done and USB 2.0 to my mouse and keyboard and I have an operating system installed in this uh, micro SD card and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert it into this uh, Tinkerboard and I have a power bank over here of which I will be connecting it to the Tinkerboard itself Let me get this here and once I've connected it, it will power on. Now there's a light over here. And the system is booting up, as you can see it's reading. And I've installed this uh, Tinker OS Android version on the micro SD. So let's wait a bit and soon you'll see the OS op um, appearing on screen. So, yeah, this is the Android. It's a Tinker, Tinker OS. It's not any particular Android. It's Tinker OS as in prepared by ASUS, as you can see, powered by Tinkerboard. And yeah, it's charged. So, um, this is not touch screen, so I'm using a mouse over here to swipe to unlock, just as how you would use any Android device. There you have it. It is an Android system. Uh, click on the that app drawer and there's a whole range of apps but um, the app is limited there's no app store and if you're to use app store you will have to um, do some modifications there are some guides online I haven't tried it yet but yeah what you have is the Tinker OS with Android so um, let's uh, establish inter ah, internet connection is done let's go to go to my website And it loads amazingly fast, right? Pretty cool. So you have everything on this currently powered by just a power bank. And I'm connected to my mouse and keyboard and it doesn't require any additional um, add-ons to connect to the Wi-Fi. Alright, so that's it for now uh, for this um, what we have so far. I'll be showing you more of this uh, um, more of my experiments with Tinkerbot as uh, time passes. I need time to test uh, various OS like the Tinker OS. There's a um, Debian version. This is the Android version. And there's many things to do with it. So um, just give you a bit of time and I'll come up with more videos and we'll see how we progress along with this. Alright, so there you have it. The ASUS Tinkerbot. It retails at just RM285 and it has one year's warranty. So what do you think of it? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below and we'll see if I can touch on those matters in my upcoming videos regarding the ASUS Tinkerbot. I'll catch you next time. See you!